Are you worried about not having a backup for your Airtable database? Well, then this video is for you. We're going to be going into detail about how you can build an automated procedure that takes a snapshot of your Airtable database on a schedule that you determine and then moves all of that data effortlessly into a software of your choosing. Now, for the purpose of this, we're going to be using Google Sheets as the backup data source. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner of Gap Consulting, where we help build automated Airtable solutions for our clients, which helps them save a ton of time and get organized inside of Airtable. So without further ado, let's jump on into my screen here and we'll show you exactly how to build this automated backup for your Airtable database. So inside here, we have a really simple backup database example. And we're bringing in, um, you know, for in this example, it's it's just some dummy data, right? We've got a first name and a last name. We're combining the first and last name in a concatenate formula uh, to come up with a full name. This is pretty standard uh, data that you'd have in almost all CRMs or uh, contact sheets. And then you've also got an email. And then this is actually some uh, metadata. Uh, well, in this case, we're bringing in a formula and we're running the now formula, which is just telling us you know, what the day and time is. And sometimes this will be a couple minutes behind uh, the actual time. Uh, but it's pretty darn accurate. And so with this data, we are going to imagine that we needed to back this up on an automated basis. Now, before we get to the automated part, there is a way that you can back up data in your Airtable database manually. And you click on this history button in the upper right corner. You can take a snapshot of your, uh, of your database and you just, you know, to manually do that, you say, take a snapshot and you have access to that uh, snapshot for whatever the uh, appropriate amount of time is, depending on the plan that you're on. So, you know, it's great to, this is a great way to manually go in and take a snapshot of your database. And if you ever need to reboot, basically because you lost something, or maybe somebody made a change that you can't undo, then this is a great way to go back and do that. But it's a little bit manual. And to be honest, I think most people probably don't remember to go and do that but this is definitely the first place to check in the case where you, uh, where you are trying to reload old uh, data. But to build the automated system, that's what we're going to be discussing here. And so let's jump into how that automation would look. So the softwares that you're going to need for this are, in this case, Airtable, obviously. That's where the data is going to be coming from. We're going to use Zapier, and that's uh, going to be providing the automation. And we're going to use a third-party plugin, which comes from our friends over at OpenSide, and the name of this plugin is Onto Air Actions. I will include a link to this in the description of the video. But as you see here, it's a $50 a month software on top of what you're paying for Zapier and Airtable. Uh, and then lastly, you'll want some sort of Google uh, Sheet or some other place to write the data. It could be uh, Excel if you have Excel on the cloud, etc. So without further ado, let's get into what this actual automation looks like. It's a three-step automation. And the first part of this is the trigger. And the trigger is going to be, in this case, uh, Schedule by Zapier. And the cool thing about Schedule by Zapier is it allows us to re-trigger on whatever our predetermined schedule is. So in this case, you see there are four different options. We can go weekly, daily, monthly, or hourly. I've just you know, decided to go with week for this example, but you could back up your data at, on whatever schedule you so chose. And then this, zap this automation will fire every time uh, these conditions are met so in this case i'm saying weekly on monday at midnight so you can kind of you know pick your own schedule and then you can of course just get some sample data uh, and that's really just going to pull in you know uh, the current date and time and uh, you know in this case this wouldn't actually run until monday on midnight but we're going to be pushing it manually now the next step is on to air so onto air again from our friends over at OpenSide is a really cool software that allows us to unlock more potential between Airtable and Zapier automations. And in this case, what we're doing is we're going to use a specific, uh, you know, one of the many, many actions uh, that we can take with this software. Uh, you can see here, if we look at all the different action types, we have quite a few to choose from. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at multiple records and this is really the only way I've ever known of <laughs> to, to be able to do this uh, with one automation. So we're going to look at an entire snapshot all at one go. 
And so we're going to use this bulk find multiple records and we're going to continue. And of course, you know, we would map this just as we would to any other, um, you know, uh, third party software, whether we were using Airtable or some other software. And we go ahead and connect that account. Now, here's where we need to pick the base and the table and the view if we have a specific view. In this case, you know, our uh, database example in Airtable is called Backup Database Example. So that's the base we're looking at. And the table is the context table. If you only want to grab uh, records from a specific view, you can specify that here. And you have a bunch of different options. All of this, again, built by our friends at OpenSide. All right, so moving on from here, we're going to go ahead and test this step. And so we're going to you know, test this by manually pushing it. Let's see, fetch and continue. And if we jump into these records, we're going to see that we've got a bulk grab of multiple records. Now, if we go back to our database, we have 10 different records here all uh, you know, fictitious uh, names. So let's jump in here and see how many different records. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got them all. Uh, now they don't always come over in the same order. So you'll see that the last record here was Porky Pig and uh, that's actually the seventh record. So the, uh, the order doesn't always hold true but the data remains consistent across the record and that's the important part. So from here, we're going to go ahead and continue. So now we've got all 10 of those records in, the, uh, in, our, in our second action step, and now we need to print them somewhere. And so in this case, what we're doing is we're creating spreadsheet rows inside of Google Sheets. Now, as I mentioned, there are other ways that you can print this data. In this case, we're just going to use uh, Google Sheets in the cloud. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and make sure our you know, uh, account is connected. And from here, now we need to map to the appropriate spreadsheet and the appropriate worksheet. Now in this case, I have just a data backup example spreadsheet created and I only have one spreadsheet in here so it's not hard to uh, you know, find out where this is gonna go. And now Zapier is going to write to this spreadsheet with the snapshot that it just took of our data. And so as you see here, we're mapping that out to uh, each of these fields. Now an important thing to know is when you're writing to a uh, Google Sheet, you need to have this first row as headers. And so this is how this full name, first name, last name, you'll notice that this matches exactly what we have in our Airtable database. So moving back into this automation, you know, that full name, first name, last name, these are the different headers here. And now all we do is we pick inside here uh, from that second step where we bulk found these records, we just match them appropriately. And so in this case, we're bringing in the full name, the first names, the last names, and the emails. Now, lastly, we have this date formula that, you know, where we were running that now formula back in Airtable. And the purpose of this, I'll show you in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And we're going to retest this step. Let's go ahead and send that test and jump into Google Sheets. And there you see in real time that data was added uh, within a moment. Now, you'll notice that this is different from the data that was living in here when we started the example, which we tested before starting uh, to record here. And the real purpose here is that the, uh, the data that came over with a date, this is the time that the zap ran. So if you remember back to our Airtable base, we have the date and time here using the now formula. And we're bringing that data into our example here so that we can tell when the automation ran. It's a great way to timestamp the automation so that we can tell when you know, records were added or taken away. If we were to compare these two data sets, we would see that they were identical, but if we added a new piece of data into our Airtable database, it would appear here when the zap ran the next time and it would have the appropriate date and timestamp. So this is a great way to tell when this data came over and, uh, and it's going to always just be pasted at the bottom of the list. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be super helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, please. And uh, be sure to click subscribe if you want more Airtable and automation content on a regular basis. Also, don't forget to swing by our website and check out some of the free resources that we've put together. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.